no one's forcing you subscribe hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video so the Swedish sentence of the day is I'm mad at you and that is in Swedish Jag är arg på dig 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 I'm not mad at you, I promise. I'm not mad at you. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know why I thought about that, but I did. Um, just want to say real, real quick, I did film this look. I'm going to show you. Wait. That's all I'm going to say for now. <laughs> My dog is looking at me like, why are you sad, mama? So today we're going to do our weekly Will I Bite video that I upload every single Thursday. And this is the video where we talk about new makeup releases. Everything that I'm going to talk about is cruelty free. If I'm not saying anything otherwise, this video is inspired by Samantha March and she also has a community playlist. I will link her channel and the community playlist down below. But let's just get started. So really, really quick, I just want to point something out. I have gotten some questions about the ColourPop order that I made about the uh, Blue Moon palette. Still haven't received my order. If I don't say anything else in the description box or in a pinned comment, I still haven't received it. Meh. <laughs> So let's start off talking about something that I didn't even know existed that some someone of you actually told me. So sometimes I do these, it's not often, but once in a while I do these wish list things on my Instagram where I just talk a little bit about some makeup. Like for instance, I listed the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette and I said, you know what, I really want this, but I can dupe it out with this palette. I did show you guys the Ace Flare palette and I said, I think I can dupe it out with the Morphe uh, 35M palette. So there's a lot of things where I show you guys that here I can dupe it out. And then I just kind of show you some stuff that I want, but not necessarily going to purchase because it's not something that I need. Just to inspire you to, you know, shop a little bit less like we can still want things we can still lust for things and if we still lust over them in three months or two months or whatever then we can go ahead and purchase it but we don't have to buy on impulse so i did talk about the stila white lies um collection they came out with a beautiful beautiful uh collection and i really wanted the yellow one because i think that that shade will be so freaking beautiful over the shade friends that i have in my palette in collaboration with blush tribe uh this shade and yes you can go ahead and purchase it now i'll have a link down below um, but I think that that would be like so freaking beautiful on top of it and someone said that you know what you don't have to purchase it from Stila because collection cosmetics has come out with one so this is what they look like they're called glam crystals and they are metallic liquid liners they are so stunning and look at this watch picture and compare it to the Stila one so the Stila one is on the bottom and then the collection one is on top I mean the Stila collection contained six shades. This one contains uh, four shades and two of them looks pretty similar, but I mean, mm. I was going to purchase them on because they are available at Superdrug, but I did get some unexpected bills that I didn't really expect. So I have to wait until I get my money, but it's just like next week or so, but then I will probably get these because how can you not? I don't know the exact price of it, but I think that they were around three, 350 pounds. So super affordable, especially compared to the Stila one. So now I can purchase everyone instead of just purch purchasing one from Stila. Yay. Another thing that I was so close to purchasing and it feels like it was ages ago, just because of the fact that <laughs> this happened last Wednesday and I filmed these on Tuesdays because I don't have the time to film and edit on um, Wednesdays so I do film these on Tuesdays and last Wednesday I saw this collection from Makeup Revolution and I I lost my shit this is a collaboration with a girl called Roxy I think that I think her name was Roxy yes she is an Instagrammer and YouTuber and she's beautiful, but she came out with three products with the brand. This is not three, this is 
three products with the brand. So it is two different eyeshadow palettes and then one contour palette. Now, one of the eyeshadow palettes I do not want, and I guess you can assume which one that is. It's beautiful, but it looks a little bit like the Soph palette, and I've heard great things about the Soph Extra Spice palette, so I would much rather, much rather get that one than this one. But the contour palette I really, really wanted. It's actually a contour palette and highlight palette, and I know I don't need another contour palette because I have a lot and I do have two from Makeup Revolution that I absolutely love and adore and I use them pretty often so I don't need it but I, I, I mean I can still lust over it but the eyeshadow palette oh my goodness this is such a stunner I love the fact that it is that lime green I love the pinks I love the purples I even love the peach I love the blue I love the purples I love the shimmery green there's so many shades like the yellow there's there's so many shades in this palette that I just think are phenomenal and I actually watched Roxy's video on this and I thought that it was so nice because she showed her arm and then she swatched the shades and I love the fact that she didn't build up the swatches or anything like that she kind of just showed them as is and I really admired that about her but I do also know that I don't love Makeup Revolution's quality when it comes to their eyeshadows, so I decided to calm my own tits a little bit and sit down and uh, I didn't purchase them. But I was so close, I was this close multiple times, but I restrained myself and I thought that I could dupe out a lot of this as well. Like the lime green shade in this palette is very similar to the shade in um, my palette, the pinky ones I probably have, and the peach ones I probably have, but I, I do think that this is one of the most beautiful Makeup Revolution products they have ever done, like they have ever done. Great job. And they are also already available, and I think that they are all retailing for $15 each. Okay, so I got so many tags in this. This is from Blush Tribe. This is such a beautiful green palette. I really think it is. The one thing that I would say that it's missing is like a really deep green. I know she said that she couldn't add in a really deep green. I don't know why, but it really doesn't matter to me. If I just add in a black, it will appear like a really deep green so I don't personally mind it because I can dip into another palette I know that some people want like a one-stop shop like everything in one palette and I'm not personally like that so to me I really don't mind but I think that the shade Maria, Iman and um, Aisha, Bia and Fatia looks so unique. They look really really cool and like really some of them look really pukey I have not ordered it, but I know that I will get it because she said that she was going to send it to me So when I have them I will do some tutorials and looks with them and review them for you guys But it is available for pre-order now and it's not gonna ship until the 31st of July. She's gonna add in a pigment as well, by the way. I'm gonna put up a swatch picture right here so you can see this, uh, see it. So Tarte has come out with some new products. It's actually like lashes, palette, and a little bit of stuff. So let me just talk a little bit about the palette first. Um, no, let me talk about the lashes first. I'm not gonna purchase the lashes because I have said that I have a no stop. No, no buy. <laughs> No, stop. I have a no buy when it comes to lashes currently. I'm not allowed to buy any new lashes because if you saw my makeup declutter, not makeup declutter, my makeup collection video that I uploaded about a week ago, that Friday, I'll link it up here if you wanna go ahead and check it out after this video. I have lashes. So I don't need them. And especially not high-end lashes, like, no. Uh, the palette, it's actually like, not when I look at it, but when I see this swatch picture, it actually, it actually reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona Gold palette. And I already have that. I love that palette, so I don't need it. Uh, I don't think that there's anything unique about this palette. And then you also have the highlight that is in the picture right here. It sort of looks like a ColourPop highlight, not something that I will pick up. They also seem to have like some new chrome paint highlighters and some chrome paint shadows. I have never tried them, but the palette anyway retails for 39 doll hairs. 
and the Lit Chrome Paint Highlighter retails for $30. And then the eyeshadows, like the single chrome eyeshadows, retails for $22. I'm not gonna pick anything up. Let's discuss ColourPop a little bit. ColourPop, this morning when I woke up, saw I saw that they are releasing some singles for their palette that they did in collaboration with Kathleen Lights, like the Zodiac palette, I think it's called. Let me see. Yes, so now you can purchase the, sing uh, the, the shades as singles. I think that that is phenomenal because I remember that I really wanted the shade Pisces and then I really wanted the shade Sodi, no, the purple shade, like the matte purple. And I was debating last time I placed an order, the, the order that still hasn't arrived, if I was going to purchase the, the Zodiac palette, but I decided not to. I was like, no, Paulina, stay strong. But when it comes to ColourPop, all of my senses just drops. I need to get it because it's not no money at all. Like a $12, $16 eyeshadow palette, no, I have to pay like $500 for it in Sweden. Like it's so ridiculous. So when I see those prices, I kind of just get everything you want. It's cray cray. So uh, I think that the, yeah, I think that it's nice, but I don't think I'm gonna purchase the singles. Maybe, I don't know. But they are also releasing four blushes and I think that they are all hideous. Yeah. <laughs> Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't use these even if someone paid me. Uh, sorry, but honestly, if you are known to my channel, these are not my shades. I love pinks, I love purples, some peaches, but this is like Lunar has it. That's a bronzer. My Sun and Stars. That's like I don't know. To me, if I would look at this and guess. On this picture, I would say that it's a highlight palette for deep skin with really strange undertones. Not blushes. No, no, not buying them, so sorry. They're, but they're not my style. If they are your style, go ahead, pick them up. I'm sure they will be beautiful on you. A lot of people look at me and they're like, oh my God, you shouldn't talk. Like your blush is hideous. I'm like, yeah, maybe it is, but I like it. And that's the most important thing. Then we also have, we have this, which is a little surprise collection that came out and I don't even know what this is. It's a little glitter potty, it says. It's like a glitter, did I say glitter potty? I mean glitter party. English is not my first language. So we have some pigments, we have some glitters, yada, yada, yada. I'm really mad at ColourPop because I still haven't gotten my order and I actually don't think that it's ColourPop's fault. It did ship to Sweden on May 31st. Yeah, and I know some packages that shipped to Sweden like June 6th that I, that I have received, like June 7th I have received. So I don't know what's up with the fucking customs. I'm so annoyed. But yeah, this is not for me, not gonna purchase, but it is available if you want to. Okay, <sighs> I don't wanna talk about this. I don't wanna talk about this. Oh, uh, I, I, I feel like I'm gonna get dragged for this, but here we go. Le Halo Beauty is coming out with vitamins again. So she has now her Halo, Halo Beauty vitamins, like her everyday vitamins or something, I don't know. And then she got some Kiwi vitamins, and then she got body and brain booster and it's one for her and one for him i get that women and men need different things for different bodies because i mean i have for instance maybe i need a little bit more iron because i bleed and my boyfriend doesn't but i don't know about this and also i ever since this scandal like <laughs> Super unpopular opinion, but maybe you could go ahead and talk to him about it, not cry on the internet for that. If I have a problem with one of my friends, I go to them and I talk to them. Tati, 
I know that a lot of people love her, a lot of people respect her, totally fine. I have never been into her channel, I've never been into her. Her brand is not towards me. Her brand is BS in my personal opinion. I would much rather go, go to my doctor and say, you know what, I feel a bit slow, what do I need? And they would say, you need this. For instance, when she came out with her pink palettes or pink vitamins, I would go to my doctor and say, hi, I need my hair to grow out, I need it to be strong, what should I take? Biotin. Okay, thank you. So, no Tati. No, you're not getting my money. Maybe she'll come out with some vitamins for like dogs and shit soon. I have some new products from Makeup Revolution that I do want to talk about. It's from their sister brands, Revolution Skincare. I'm going to put up a little picture right here. So if you see the big bottle, it's like a glytonic acid toner. Yes. I am all about their skincare brand. I'm so excited about the brand. And I actually, this Monday, uploaded a video with like all my favorite Revolution products. Definitely go ahead and check it out if you want to because it is a jungle when it comes to the brand. But I think that they have some amazing, amazing products and I stand by that. I know a lot of people wanna hit shit on Makeup Revolution and that's totally fine. I think that they have some really bomb products, but you need to find them. So this is something that I am excited about, but it's not something that I'm gonna pick up anytime soon because I have a backup, like a big, big bottle of the um, Ordinary acid whatever it is like a toner and one of those bottles because I only use it at night time lasts me for months so yeah then last night I also saw this so this is a bunch of pictures so this is from the brand Revolution Pro we have an Hydra matte fixing spray with hyaluronic acid First and foremost, let me just give them A plus for packaging. I did not think that this was Revolution when I saw it. I think that it looks bomb.com, <laughs> if that's what the kid says. But, <laughs> but I think that everything looks super beautiful. We have a Goddess Glow Primer. We have a Hydra Matte Primer. We have something in a gold packaging, and I don't even know what that is. It could be a bronzer, it could be a highlight. It could be a powder, perhaps. We have lip products. We have a neutral eyeshadow palette. We have some highlighter products. We have like, we have a lot. This has already launched, not when I'm filming, but when you see this, you can find it at Superdrug. But I think that they said on Instagram that some of the products is gonna go up on their own website on Friday, but the official launch is next week. Very, very fussy about the details, but I will put it down below so you can go ahead and find it if you want to. This is so crazy because when I see something that I do want to talk about in these videos, I put it in my saving files on like Instagram. So I click on the little whatever, I save it. And when I saw this that I'm going to talk about, I nearly lost my shit. I went to the website and I wanted to purchase it, but then I kind of calmed myself down a little bit and didn't because I was like, Paulina, you need to calm yourself. You have makeup, okay? This is from Beach Cosmetics and I think that this is beautiful. It's an eyeshadow palette and a blush palette. And this is a collaboration with Tina Young, which is a YouTuber, I think it is. But when I saw this palette, I was like, damn girl. That's pretty. So you have greens, you have uh, pinks and reds and oranges and yellows and peaches. You have so much without it being a rainbow palette. You know, like the, I don't know, like the typical rainbow palette. You have this and I was like, oh my God. Yes, bitch. This was beautiful. But I did not enjoy the fact that they kind of had the blush palette as well. So I thought, oh, but if you look at it, you can kind of just cut it off and I can throw that away because the blushes, they're not really my cup of tea. I would use them if I had them, but they wouldn't be my favorite probably. 
but I, yeah, I think that she did a phenomenal job. I feel like BH is becoming ColourPop and Makeup Revolution. Like they, they release stuff all the time now. They have so many collaborations all the time, just as ColourPop and just as Makeup Revolution, especially Makeup Revolution right now. So many new things like OMG, OMFG. No, people get mad if you say that. And I just said it. I think that this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna talk about. This is from NYX and this is a new foundation. I am maybe a little bit interested in this. So this is, let me see what they were called. Born to Glow. Born to Glow. Some people were born to run. Others were born to glow. I am the person that was born to glow. Exciting shit. It's even more exciting when you read the price. $10. Good job, NYX. I think that that is a good job. It's a little bit of a step down for them. And great. They have really fucked up their pricing. So this I'm excited about. I'm super excited about it. This has already dropped, but I will of course have to wait until it comes to Sweden, which is in about like maybe two to three years or so. So pretty soon it is 45 different shades. Let me see if it contains like 30 milliliters. Yeah, it says that it contains 30 milliliters. Can't wait to see reviews on it. Don't however know if I'm going to pick it up just because I have so many freaking foundations that I'm just trying to use up. And it takes me a lot of time. You know why? Because I don't use foundation on my day-to-day -day anymore. I only use it when I film or if I'm gonna do something like a party or something like that. So how much will I be able to use a foundation? Not that much. I cannot deal with a foundation right now during the summer, so... I don't know. That was all that I wanted to talk about today. So I do hope you like this little video. If you did, please give me a little thumbs up. If you did not enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs down so I know. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe, but it's not a must. You don't have to, no one's forcing you. Subscribe! Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bye.